This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 1, this is Section 10. Yielding Special Relationship to Love Hi David, I have had a question in mind for some time and I thought it would be a good idea to put it out there instead of working and reworking it in my head. It is a special relationship question. The Course says there is no order of difficulty in miracles. But I have not been able to forgive my last special relationship partner or myself in relationship to him for more than short periods at a time. I have done the exercises so many times and I feel like I get closer to forgiveness but it is not really forgiveness until it is total, right? I know what it truly there between us is love but my ego is riled up at the thought that he did not continue to think I was the most special person in the universe and that he reluctantly recently found a new person that he seems to fancy as the new improved most special person in the universe. You would think that with my humor and my understanding of how ridiculous the ego is, I would feel better about it. I have tried just acknowledging what I am feeling under the layers and letting go of the anger and judgment. Loving does hurt less than hating, but I must be feeling the wrong kind of love because it still hurts. Should I be thankful for this experience? Maybe now that I have shared all these seemingly private thoughts with you, it will all open up to more light. I heard that William Thetford said something like, The Course suggests that we forgot to laugh at the moment we first began to believe illusions were real. I love that. Beloved One, Thank you for pouring your heart out and exposing private thoughts. Like you wrote, Expressing it all and getting it off your chest takes the power out of the ego and dissolves it immediately. You wrote about partial forgiveness, about feeling like the thoughts come up again and again and that it needs to be total forgiveness for it to be over and done with. This is much like watching the air bubbles coming up in a tank. You can watch the bubbles, thoughts, forgive them and release them. But unless you get down to the bottom of the tank and dismantle the pump, those bubbles ain't gonna stop. It is good to get really clear about the difference between having something coming up and simply being in the wrong mind or listening to the ego. When you find your mind rehashing the past, repeating unhelpful, meaningless chatter that goes nowhere, you can get staunch and give the ego a swift kick. The Holy Spirit gave me a great catch phrase. Stop, drop and roll. Like the firefighters say to do if you catch on fire, or you are surrounded by smoke and you cannot see straight. Perfect. Stop the ego in its tracks. Drop down from the swirling headspace that you are in. Down into your heart space, into your right mind, and roll with the Holy Spirit. Feel the peace and ask for guidance. Help me, Holy Spirit. What would you have me say or do?
if anything. This is different than the feeling of deep emotions that need to come up to be exposed. The ego will try to jump in and get you to act on your emotions, to act from a place of doubt, hurt or sadness. And this simply takes you further away from the truth. Again, turn to the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge that you do not know why you feel this way and that you are willing to be guided as to what to do or what to say right now. When you have quiet time to yourself, bring the feelings up again with the Holy Spirit and ask about them. Reading the first sentence of every paragraph and a few paragraphs here and there in chapter 24 offers a good overall reminder of what specialness is. It is twisted. It is not what we think it is. It is not love. If love is a consistent state and your experience of love has involved inconsistency, pain, a bit of sadness here and there, then this is not real love. This world is a cover, made to hide fear. The pseudo-love relationships that we engage in are not real love. Even the love you feel for your family, your ex-boyfriend, Right now, when you think of them, you are thinking of the past. They are thoughts in the mind. The moments of joy, of love, of happiness experienced together are experiences of the present moment, a direct reflection of God's love. When you attach these moments to the figures in the dream you are wishing to have more of these moments with a particular person. When a relationship seems to come to an end or you are not close to them in proximity, there is a feeling of loss, of wishing it were different because you are making them special and attaching your memories of the present moment to them. Special relationships, special love, they are a block to love, to the awareness of God's love. We think we are pursuing love by holding on to the past and trying to make it work out. We are holding on to illusions and we are blocking our awareness of the present moment the only time and space in which we are free to experience love, happiness and joy. Fear of aging, death and loneliness are hidden beneath the cover of the special relationship. To believe we are separated from God, that we are a body, that we will grow old and die, that we can be alone is the ego. Reaching out for love in this world to dispel these feelings is the purpose of special relationship. It can never result in freedom, peace and happiness. It is a cover over death. All thoughts of comparisons All thoughts of superiority and inferiority are of the ego, based on its ideas of success and failure. You are the Christ, the perfect holy child of God. There is nothing and no one to compare you to. If you forget your true identity for a moment, just stop. Drop and roll. 
Remind yourself that you desire only the peace of God. Ask the Holy Spirit, Jesus, to hold your hand and be with you right now to help you with whatever you are experiencing. Thank you so much for your willingness to let go of special relationships. This is saying yes to love, to real love.